Welcome to the Live Well Health Feed, the show that's designed to feed your mind with helpful health information. I'm Mary Michaels with Live Well Sioux Falls in the Sioux Falls Health Department, and I've got great guests today. You probably know them if you follow any of our city accounts. I have today the infamous Sam Clemens from the Sioux Falls Police Department, <laughs> Steve Fessler from Sioux Falls Fire Rescue. Hello. Sam, Steve, thank you so much for being here today. Really appreciate it. Yep, glad to be here. We've got a great topic to talk about, and it's really important for you two guys because June is Men's Health Month. And, you know, a lot of times it's maybe the females that are more likely to schedule the doctor appointments, take care of those routine screenings, and we really need to let the men out there know that we want you to take care of your physical and your emotional health. So you're both in jobs that are pretty physically demanding. So what are some of the things that you do, Sam, to kind of keep yourself on the health track? Uh, probably not as much as I should. Uh, most of mine involves running after and chasing around kids. I mean, there's a lot of activities that they're involved in, so I'll help out with that. So that's probably mostly where I get my exercise from, riding bikes, taking walks. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I know that uh, working out is a very important thing. There's a lot of police officers that work out. Yeah, that's awesome. How about you, Steve? Uh, same for me. I probably don't work out as much as I, I should. I know that all the uh, firefighters on the floor, they all get a lot of good workout time in and yeah. are, are all physically fit. I myself in the office a little more now. I depend more on trying to eat healthy yeah. and uh, more mental well-being type stuff. Well, we are going to find out just how much these two know about health topics. So we don't have fancy <laughs> game show electronics, but you do have exciting little answer boards. So we have blue for police and red for fire. So these guys, I'm gonna ask them questions. They're gonna write their answers down and we're gonna just test their knowledge a little bit on some on some health and some things that are men's health specific. So are you guys ready? Ready yeah. as Okay. Busy. So this first few questions are true and false. So you can write T or F or true or false, whatever you want. Okay. So true or false, cancer is the leading cause of death in men. Okay, we have one false, one true. The answer is False. Darn. The number one killer of men and women actually is actually heart disease. Oh, yeah. Darn. So here's Sorry. another one. True or false? More men die from lung cancer than any other type of cancer. More men die from lung cancer than any other type. False. And a false? It's actually true. Oh. Of all the cancers, uh, more men die from lung cancer first, but that's followed closely by prostate cancer. Hmm. So that's why those screenings are so important. Okay, true or false? Men only need one hour or 60 minutes of physical activity per week. False, false, that is absolutely correct. Everybody needs at least 150 minutes of exercise a week, so about 30 minutes on most days. And the good news is chasing kids, walking for even from the parking lot, taking stairs, all of that counts. So it can be in little bouts of 10 minutes here and there. So any kind of activity counts. So great job. Okay, true or false? Men should undergo regular screening tests. They see, yes, they know true. that one. Okay, now here's the little bonus part. Can you name any screening tests that you think you should be getting? Screening tests that yeah. you should be getting? Yeah, what kind of screening test should uh, like an annual physical? An annual That's, physical, yep. Uh, that might include what? Well, you can get your, uh, for like colonoscopy. Colonoscopy would be a good one, yeah. Prostate exams. Yep. Blood pressure. Blood pressure. Cholesterol. Blood, blood sugar. Yep, so all those things, so that would be part of an annual, annual physical. Okay, great one. True or false? Men have different nutritional needs than women. All right, so they both say true. That is actually true. So adult men usually have less body fat and more muscle, and they often require more calories during the day. So moderately active men should eat about 2,000 to 28 calories per day, but that depends on your height and weight and your activity level. But yes, mm -hmm. definitely a little bit of difference there between men and women. So it's good to talk to your doctor about when you do that annual physical, where you should be with your daily calories. Okay, so this next one, you're going to be writing down a number. Okay. okay, so carrying your weight around your middle section can increase your risk for diabetes and heart disease. So what's kind of the normal waist measurement for men? What should you not be above? 
in inches. So how many inches would be a, a normal? So we have a 36 and a 32. So the actual answer is 40. It's 40 or less, but 40 would be that maximum. If you're over 40, that would be the, the point where you're putting yourself I at a little know. more risk. Just, <laughs> I feel like I'm good. carrying it heavy, so I went smaller. I think I've been a 32 since high school. <laughs> All right, so at what age should you start being screened for colorectal cancer? On average, at what age should you start getting colonoscopies or some other type of colorectal cancer screening? 50-50, they got it right. That's correct. Now, it's another thing that you need to talk to your provider about because if you have family history or other risk factors, you may need to start earlier, but in general, 50 years of age. Okay, here's the last quiz question. The optimum amount of sleep you should get every night. You can either write one number or a range, but how much sleep is kind of that optimum amount? What you get or what you should get? What you should get. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh. Seven to eight, Sam wrote eight, that's correct. Seven to nine hours, and again, that might vary a little bit uh, person to person. So you come anywhere close to that sleep amount? Sort of. <laughs> depending yes. on the day, yes. depending on the day. Right. Well, great quiz. Now, you know, there's some stereotypes about your professions and, and yep. health. For police, obviously, it's donuts. donuts you know, <laughs> and with, with firefighters, you might be thinking about there's no way that they're cooking healthy at the station. So, you know, let's start with you. Like, how do you cook healthy? What do you do as at the, uh, you know, at the station for shopping healthy? I know you cook a lot. Yep. What do you try to focus on when you're cooking at the station? We actually, uh, our, our firefighters do a really really good job at uh, healthy eating at the stations overall. I mean, there are definitely some meals that are not as healthy, but we've got healthy cookbooks and different things like that that they pull their recipes from and and they go to the store typically as you know a crew or something to make sure that they're getting good, healthy food. Yeah, so we might even see uh, one of the trucks yep. pull up at your local grocery yep. store. You might see one of the crews at, a, at one of the grocery stores. Typically, maybe one or two of them might go inside to purchase the food while another one, one or two, will be out with the truck and doing uh, uh, activities where if a kid wants to come up and sure. see the truck, they'll show them around the truck, talk to them, coloring books, things like that. They'd be an active truce, a crew, so if they get a call, have you ever had to, like, yes. they have to drop their yep. groceries and yep. run? They will, uh, often the stores will see if a crew comes in and we have a full basket of stuff, they'll leave it, they'll take it, put it back in the cooler, and we come back later and pick it up and continue on with the shopping part. So. I think that's a good thing to know. So when you see those trucks at the stores, know that those that crew is still on duty and ready to protect the community. Yep, ready so at all know, times. Sam, it's gotta be hard for officers when they're out in their cars you know, on patrol, and, and do you do any kind of education or talk about how they can maybe make some healthier choices when they're out knowing that they're probably having to either bring their own food or or get something quick yeah that's kind of one of the downfalls is obviously we're working too but it's we don't always have the luxury and so you see a lot of officers that'll stop and get some fast food some of them are more conscious than others about trying to eat healthy uh, we do have a number of officers that will bring in their own meals and so they'll come to the station and kind of reheat it from there so there's kind of a wide variety i, I think a lot of officers know that uh, your physical well-being is going to play a part in your job and so they try to not always, but at least try to do somewhat yeah. to try to make sure they're eating healthy. Yeah, and I think you're not so with everything. Moderation is kind of the right. key. So yeah. we really appreciate you do. We're not done with you yet because when we come back, we're going to have the two of these fine gentlemen work together on a little activity and test their knowledge on one more area of nutrition. So stay with us. We'll be right back. I'm Dr. Kathleen Haight with Falls Community Health. Today we'll be talking about a summer health topic, sunscreen. Out here on the prairie, it pays to be quite wary. When the thermometer says hot, you need to think a lot about the safety for your skin before you jump right in to the pool or your hike or that trip on your bike. Everybody knows when you burn, you can blister, so get some SPF for your grandma and your sister. 50 and above for the people that you love. It might seem extreme, but there's no fun without screen. Welcome back to the Live Well Health Feed. My guests today are Steve Fessler with Sioux Falls Fire Rescue, Sam Clemens with the Sioux Falls Police Department, and we're talking about health, and specifically men's health, since June is Men's Health Month. 
So they did a great job with the health quiz earlier. Now we're going to see what they know about sugar. So most Americans consume nearly 20 teaspoons of added sugars each day, more than triple the recommended amount for women, and it's more than double the rec recommended amount for men. And sugar-sweetened beverages are the number one place mm -hmm. where we get added sh sugar and added calories to our diet. So what we're going to have the two of you do, there's a collection of different drinks here, and uh, from sodas and sports drinks, juice, lemonade, um, a strawberry cream frappuccino with whipped cream. So we're going to have the two of you place these in order from least to most amounts of sugar. So hmm. starting with the least on Sam's side, the most on your side, line them up in order. So you can tag team, work together, and put these things in order. So Le go. Least to most. Okay. Least to most. So yeah. And I did black out the label so you couldn't yeah, cheat. But that's an important thing to do when you're out shopping these, for foods. Make sure you're looking at the label high. and looking at those grams of sugar, looking at grams of fat, looking at sodium, taking into account all of those things that are part of the, the nutrition label. I know Coke has, cola has a lot of sugar. Yeah. But does this one have more? I'm almost thinking this has more, but I don't know. I'm good with that. Great teamwork at the City Soup Balls. Yeah, so I was just thinking too. Yeah. Okay. I think we're all right. Final answer? Yeah, sure. As final okay. as it's going to be. Okay. So the least is the juice. <sighs> but you look at the size of the bottle. So this has like nine teaspoons of sugar in this little bottle. So if you're thinking about kids, probably not the best drink for them. Next is this sports one drink. here, sports drinks. If they're not like the zero sugar you can have as much as 13 tablespoons of sugar in that. Uh, the next one is actually hmm. the frappuccino, but that's another thing when you're going to get your favorite coffee drink, leave the syrups and all of that stuff out because you're getting all of those added sugars and calories that you don't really need. Uh, next, actually these two are tied. A lemonade and this cola have both 17 teaspoons. Did wow. I say this one has 14? 14 teaspoons of sugar, but 17 in this, and you're absolutely right. This one has the most with 20 teaspoons of sugar. Wow. So <laughs> always a good thing to think about, especially in the summer when it's hot, you really want to get that water. Um, you know, again, things in moderation are fine, but remember that things like caffeine, alcohol are going to dehydrate you during the summer. So really try to get that water in. So no game show would be complete without prizes. So both of our winners today are getting great live well <laughs> t-shirts so nice. we want those to wear those proudly and make sure that you guys are staying healthy out there as you're working on behalf of the city so steve sam thanks so much for joining us we appreciate it find all kinds of great health tips on our website livewellsoupfalls.org or follow us on facebook twitter or instagram so we'll see you next time on the live well health feed